Hello friends, this is Rupesh and watching CPP Learning video series on C integration and this question will be looking at designated initialization. So I'm sure lots of the people would have not seen this. So let's suppose someone is asking you just create an array like this of maybe 10 size and initialize only third and sixth position with some value maybe 10 and 20. How would you do that? So you might be going like 0, 0, 0, 0, third location 10, then 0, 0, 0, like that you may go, okay? But there is another way and that is called designated initialization. So you wanted to initialize third location, right? So 3 is equal to what value you wanted? 10. And another is 6th. So 6th is equal to let's call it 20 and you are done what you did you initialized 3 with 10 I mean third location there are 0 to 9 location here because we have 10 size so third location means 4 location is initialized with 10 and 7th place is initialized with 20 so let's check that for that I need a for loop i is equal to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus i printf arr of i okay and let's define that i so i'm just printing this 0 to 9 okay just to verify that so let's run this gcc designated initialization compiled and running and see this is the values 0 0 0 and at third location mean fourth place it is 10 fifth and sixth is again 0 then 20 so see you have successfully initialized only third and sixth position and not only this you can initialize six here and three here it is not required that it should be in order okay you can do this also so let's compile this and run this again see it is giving you the reverse output because we are initializing 10 at 6th and 20 on 3rd so 20 is coming here and 10 is going here not only this you can do this with structs also like str and let's have some a and integer b and let's comment out this code for now and we will create str variable s is equal to now here you can do this a is equal to let's make it 10 and dot b is equal to 20 okay and yes it is possible you created s variable of this structure type and initializing a with 10 and b with 20 so if you want to verify that you can just go ahead and print this d as dot a and b so gcc designated initialization and run this 10 and 20 no problem and again you can swap the order here like b can come here and a can come here no problem as you was doing in array so let's again compile this and run this see so this is the use of this designated initialization but stop here this facility is little restricted in C++. Actually, till now I was talking about C. Okay, don't miss that part. I'm compiling with this GCC option with C compiler, not G++. Okay, so this facility is little restricted. And what do I mean by that? So if you will compile the same code with G++, then it will throw you the error saying that sorry unimplemented non-trivial designated initializer not supported what it is trying to tell you is you have swapped the value i mean b has come to the first position and a has gone to the second position so this is not supported a should be here and b should be here so if you will compile this again and this time it is telling okay yeah if it is c plus plus you have to return integer here okay don't miss that now compile yeah see it has compiled if you will run this it is running 10 and 20 so c plus plus don't allow swapping okay swapping means the order of declaration 
I mean whatever the order you have used in declaration should go here. If it is A, B and let's suppose character C, then that C should come after B. Okay. So it should not be unordered in C++. So order has to be maintained. And you might be thinking what about this array? So you are correct. Array is also restricted. So let's check that as well. So I'll comment this code here. No need of this one. So let's look at this. As I was telling you, this is a valid code in C. So let's compile the same code in C++. It will throw the error saying that it is not allowed. So it's not telling that 3 should be here and 6 should be here. It is telling that all the members should exist. Okay. So let me show you that if you'll make three here and six here and we'll go and compile this still it will give you the same error. Okay. So it is telling that you need to have all the 10 members initialized like this. And to prove that let's make it little smaller here. Don't make it too big and let's make it zero and let's make this one one. Now this is two size and we are initializing zero and one position and going from zero to one. Okay. So let's compile this one and it will compile. See it has compiled if running 10 and 20. So everything is good here. No problem. And here you cannot swap the order. So let's verify that as well. I don't know why C++ is not giving this. If you get that, please let me know. I'll be very happy to see that. So see, it is again the same problem. So order has to be maintained. Got it? So that's it guys. If you learned something new today, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel for videos like this. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.